guys and welcome to this video tutorial from Dr. Marketing Tips. I am Danielle, a contributor to DMT. You may be looking for ways to amp up your marketing efforts online and through your social media outlets. Luckily, marketing your practice does not have to be expensive and it does not have to be time consuming. Research has shown that social media users are more likely to engage with a post when it includes an image. So today I'm going to show you how to create great free social media images to catch the eyes of your patients. So the tool that us at DMT like to use is called Canva. So you can go in and you can create your free account. The free membership for Canva comes with loads of free images and designs. The website also offers premium stock images, which cost a dollar or two. However, their free content is so good that you usually don't need to purchase those images. So, okay, let's get started. After you create your free account, you can log in to this user, user dashboard. Now this site is extremely user friendly and that's one of the reasons why we enjoy using it so much. Um, they have templates for your Facebook and Twitter headers, uh, which you can see up here across the top as well as a layout that perfectly fits the social image side. So you see right here, social media. Um, and this is, you may have noticed when a picture is uploaded on Facebook, if it's too small, it'll have a white area around it, kind of like this example. So you see you have the social media post, and then there's all this extra white space that is just left blank. So let's say you want to create an image for a fun fact about your practice or specialty. For example, your fun fact is, did you know that one in four people will develop hip arthritis in their lifetime? Okay, so you can change the size, the color, um, all that good stuff, but first, when creating these images, we like to use the specific color of the practice to, to stay true to their brand. So this can be achieved through their specific color code. I like to use this color picker here on Google Chrome. So I can go to the DMT site and pull their exact blue color. I can go to the background, and they have the basic colors. They have uh, different layouts for your background as well. Um, to add your own color, you can just paste it in right here. And so now we have the exact Dr. Marketing Tips blue as the background color. Um, you can go through and change the font of the text as well. There's lots of different options. A lot more than you would get uh, in a Word document or anything like that. We can increase, well, we can really increase the size of the text. You can justify it left, right, or center. Um, and when there's a number in your, in your fact, sometimes it's fun to make the number a different color, um, just so it stands out a little bit more. Um, so... You can upload your pictures. Okay, so then once your photo is loaded, you can go to images and actually have a frame for your photo. So if you want rounded corners um, or different shapes for your picture, they have those options as well. So I'm just going to do a, a rounded corner. Mm -hmm. image here and then you go back to your uploads and stick it right in there and then the last step is just sticking your logo onto the image as well and it's good to have a version of your logo with no background colors or anything so you can kind of stick it any on any image that you want to put it on and there you go now you have an image that not only gets the point across but it also looks a lot better than just plain Facebook text um, and then you can save it, you can share it. There's a, there's a shareable link that you can email out to your uh, coworkers. You can download your images uh, as a JPEG or as a PDF. Um, 
And then, once you've finished your image, you can have your, it saves every image you create, and you can end up with a whole roster of awesome images to increase your social media. And there you have it. Thank you for listening, and we will catch you next time.